What do you know? It's Tuesday again, and it's time to check out our Scalarium and Infinite Archive vendors. The key when shopping is never. All right. First up, we have Bound Affix Script Force, which adds force, a buff increasing critical damage. Bound Affix Script Uncertainty adds uncertainty, a debuff reducing weapon critical damage. We have Bound Focus Script Immobilize adds an immobilization effect. And finally, we have the Bound Signature Script Wayfarer's Mastery adds improved functionality of skill line passives. Let's go check out the Infinite Archive vendor. All right, now we're in Infinite Archive. We are straight back from the entrance, talking to Filer Ool. First up, Archival Essay, Western Skyrim Treasure Map. I don't usually recommend treasure maps. These are cheap enough to get from traders. But if you're curious, Western Skyrim gives us gear such as Eternal Vigor, Venomous Smite, and Winter's Respite. Next up for 7,000 Archival Fortunes, we have Big Ear Ginger Kitten's Feather Toy. Uh, this is one of seven pieces that drop in Carnwaston in Somerset to give you the very cute Big Ear Ginger Kitten. If this is the last one you need, maybe, but these pieces drop fairly easily now. Um, so truly, unless it's the last piece you need, I don't think it's worth it. We have our scripts. We have Bound Affix Script Intellect and Endurance, which adds Intellect and Endurance, buffs Increasing Magicka and Stamina Recovery. Bound Focus Script Poison Damage, which adds Poison Damage. And Bound Signature Script Knight's Valor, adds Improved Use of Bash or Blocking. We have Bound Style Page Earth Gore Shoulder. We have kind of this rock looking shoulder here. Oh my gosh, where was I? Okay. <laughs> That's a day, guys. Earthgore, of course, is from Bloodroot Forge, but the shoulder piece you're going to be able to get from the Undaunted Quest Giver when the mask starts dropping. I usually don't like getting shoulders, not for 15,000 archival fortunes, but your mileage may vary. Companion equipment, light armor. I don't usually recommend these. You are at the mercy of RNG. And they are bound, so you can't get rid of anything that you don't want. Heroes on say Deck Fragment. Found occasionally after defeating bosses inside Ghost Haven Bay and Spire of the Crimson Coin Public Dungeons. I don't think these are particularly difficult to get, but if you are having trouble, it's here for 7,000 Archival Fortunes. Okay, our leads this week are a little exciting. The Meteoric Iron Triquetra. Triquetra? How do you pronounce that, guys? This is for the Torque of the Last Alien King. It drops an infinite archive. This is not a horrible one to get. I don't think that they, the drop rate is too bad. But it does require spending a lot of time in infinite archive. So it might be worth it. If you have enough archival fortunes to get it, you might already have gotten the lead. But if you've been running it for a while, especially if it's your last one, uh, you may want to go ahead and grab that one. This is what I'm really excited about, though. Petrified Tree Bark Tablet. This is for Barkroot Blessing, and it drops from Galen Treasure Maps. I hate the leads from Treasure Maps. I think they're awful. You can get it on your first Treasure Map. You can get it on your 30th. The Treasure Maps are not necessarily cheap. And if you're waiting to get the Treasure Maps on your own to dig it up versus buying Treasure Maps from other players, you might it might take you a while. So... I, I'm kind of excited about this one. I do happen to already have it. This is what Bark Root Blessing looks like. And it did take me several maps to get this one. Okay, on to our books. On the Nature of Nimix. This one drops in Infinite Archive. However, the eidetic memory is from a Bastion Nimic. It is um, by the Book Puzzle Boss. And Our Puny Allies is a very attractive book. This one also comes out of Infinite Archive, but the eidetic memory is um, in Telvanni Peninsula 
on the Necrom docks just outside the Emissary's Enclave house. So the eidetic memory is very easy to get for this one. I had to use magic. And last up, we have our unreliable archive map. Consume 20 unreliable archive maps to unlock the peer into the mirror maze achievement and the shattered mirror maze face marks. These are the face marks. I have not been recommending buying any of these at 7,000 archival fortunes. You're going to get them anyway if you're running infinite archive. They are guaranteed in a particular order, starting with the mount. So if you run your daily often enough, you're going to get all of them without spending fortunes. All right, next up, we're going to run an arc of infinite archive to see what gear is dropping this week, because that changes every Tuesday as well. All right, we just ran one arc in a little bit for the new sets. We have a new class set for each class, giving us 36 new item pieces for each of the classes. We're going to be spending a lot of time in Infinite Archive. Don't forget with Update 43, we have new boards for Infinite Archive. We have new verses and visions, new gear sets, and a new daily quest giver. This week, we have gear dropping from Glenumbra. That includes Bloodthorn's Touch, Hide of the Werewolf, and Weird Tree's Blessing, as well as from Rothgar, which includes Briarheart, Mark of the Pariah, and Trinamax Valor. That's going to do it for this week. We'll see you next Tuesday.